Agus Fabrication and then some. Take three. Let's try this out again, y'all. Listen, um, this is Bandsaw Breakdown Part 1, right? Go over to the Patreon, man. Check it out. This is because of a Patreon who is not a member yet to the site. But we're going to figure out a way to fix that. Ivan McVary, thank you so much, man. Um, Ivan McVary, he donated to the shop. And uh, said, go ahead and get the rust removal for the bandsaw. So this video here, we're going to be shooting the bandsaw. Um, I already started. I started trying to shoot the video yesterday, but my phone was too full. Um, so, we got us a new camera. It's going to be doing video soon. The only problem is, is I only got a one gigabyte uh, memory chip with it right this second. But, I have another one, but it's too big. And I got a 32 gigabyte um, microchip in there, which would be good. It'll hold video uh, that I can make video and edit it and put it straight in there. You know what I mean? Uh, right now, I'm still using the phone. I had to move, clean out my, all my storage, my internal storage. 128 gigabytes was done. Done, done, son, son. So I had to take care of that and fix all that. So, uh, yeah, that's where we're at. I got the Evaporust on the way. That should be here tomorrow. I ordered that through Amazon. Um, and I got a package deal. I got some flaxseed oil. Flaxseed oil is good on cast iron and stuff like that. Steel, when you're done finishing it. Uh, I hate doing it like that. Hold up. When you're done finishing it, you, uh, there we go. When you're done finishing it, you should always do the steel and the flaxseed oil. That way, uh, it, it protects it from rust. It is the old theory. But look at this bad boy. She's kind of beat up, man. She's Her frame's rusted up, but the frame is still structurally sound. It's just got a little rust on it, nothing major. Uh... You know, she was outside in the barn, man. Like, in the in the barn's yard is how we should say that. <laughs> but, you know, like, if we got to, we could take all these pegs off and remake all of them, right? Um, we're going to take all this off in here. We're going to take this cover off and, uh, you know, get the pulley off the other side of it. Let's walk around here. A little tight right now. We're going to position that. Yeah, we'll take the pulley up off of there. Take this whole side up off of it. And, like, you can see parts of it, right, where, like, you can see the fiberglass. See what I'm saying? We're going to take and put some body filler over that. Make sure that's strong. Just cover that fiberglass up. And we'll take all this off of here. It's all, uh dry rod and all that we'll get all that off of there and we'll get some new one you can order that off amazon also we'll get some of that and uh yeah but today's video consists of i think we're gonna leave it on the same stand i kind of like the stand I ain't gonna lie to you what we'll do is when we get everything off of it right I want to look and see if what kind of bearings it takes. If if I'm sure there's got to be bearings in here, if not bushings, but you got a uh, a oiler right here for it. So is it just bushings in there? So I want to take this apart and clean it up and just go from there, man. Like here's a there's a old Rockwell sign there. I like the. Try to get in touch with Delta, Delta Rockwell or Rockwell if it's its own company still. We'll find out. Uh, and see about getting new tags for this also. Because there's tags on the side. Here's the other side of it right here. And as you see, there's tags on the other side of it. 
and if we're going to clean this bad boy up and make it look stunning i want to put nice tags on it too i don't know about y'all but if i'm gonna do something i'm gonna do it all the way i'm, I'm talking about they had uh nuts over top of these man like nuts like that's nuts <laughs> we're not gonna do that like bro nuts you got me nuts so let's do this let's go hands free so we ain't gotta worry about all that okay all that spinning and crazy stuff it just makes for more editing let's see where are we at here There we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, yeah, they use, like, real nuts on it. And that's nuts, if you ask me. Um, I mean, it's tacky. It's no look to it. A, a bandsaw like this. I mean, listen. I'm waiting for my tool post to get here for the lathe. When that comes, it comes with a knurling tool. We are going to make knobs for this that you can spin on and spin off in order to access the inside of it to either change the blade, which is a common occurrence when you use a bandsaw. It all depends on what you're doing. I mean, you, you might be scrolling, you might be uh, uh, profiling, you might be um, roughing, you, you know what I mean? I mean, it's a number of things you could be doing with a bandsaw, cutting metal, anything, you know? So, uh, You know, to be able to get inside and access it easily and comfortably, safely, that's the key. You know, that's that's huge. That's very, very important, man. So, uh, let's keep that in mind while we're doing this. And anything we do, remember, safety, man. Safety. You know what I mean? Be safe at what you do. Okay? Don't forget, man. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, man. Atkins Fabrication. And then some, man, support the channel, man. Go over to the Patreon. Support the channel. You can go to PayPal. You can, if you can go on PayPal and leave a message. And let me know directly what you want. Anything you donate to this shop used for. And I will directly use it for that. I will go out of my way to show you that is what I used your money for. This is about building respect and trust with one another, right? I have no problem with going out of my way to show y'all who I am. Okay? I am worthy of this. This is what God chose for me. So, I know this is what I'm meant for. And I appreciate every last one of y'all for subscribing and believing in me. God bless every last one of you and your family on this holiday season. I want to talk to all the addicts and homeless that are out there on this holiday season, man. If you see this video, man, peteracken77 at gmail.com, man. Let's get you off in these streets, man, and get you into a, into a facility, man, that'll help you. Alcohol drug addiction, whatever, it does not matter, man. If you need help, let's get you off of these streets and get you help. PeterAggin77 at gmail.com We're going to put that in here somewhere so that way you can see it. And if you need it, use it. Please. Use it. If you use it and you're serious after that, you won't have to worry about emailing me because you will have my direct number that you can call me. Let's get on this bandsaw. All right, so uh, we got us an old, old knob right here. And it was fixed in there, but I kind of played with it and she came loose. Look at this bad boy. Huh? Look at that bad boy, huh? 
Yeah. <laughs> and what? People get creative, man. So like all the hoes that they, they uh, put a screw to, huh? You know what I'm saying? But the, hey, baby. I said I love it in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really not loony, y'all. I'm just, you know, I'm normally just a happy kind of guy. I mean, look at that one. Ain't nothing else you're doing, man. What do you want to do? Sit around and be miserable? Can't blame the world for everything, man. I don't care how hard you try. See, when all, everybody ain't trying to hear that crap, man. Everybody else got their own problems. They don't want to hear yours. And that's the way it works. It's just the way the world is, man. It's sick. I know. What will you do? What do you do? You know? What do you do? What do you do? See, now, I think this is bushing. Like, you feel that? It's slipping. Right there. Slipping. Felt like. Yeah, see it slip? One thing I hate, oil on the hands, man. Oh, goodness. My hands don't like it. It don't like it. Oil on my hands, it does not like Look at these hands, man. Those things are treacherous. If I rub your face with these, it might look like Freddy Krueger scratched your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It, it, listen, I'm joking, but I ain't lying. <laughs> really kind of don't want to have to uh, get the pulley out. You know, I don't have to. I mean, I will, but I don't want to. Well, you know, I guess we're going to do something, huh? See it work, right? I mean, come on now. 
What fun is that if you can't see what it's gonna do? Right? Hey, I get it. All right, so let's, uh, we're gonna get a little tool here. And I'll show you why. Because what it is is the pulley, uh, this thing that is gonna hit right there in the middle and it's not gonna let it go no further. But if we can get a socket that's close to the diameter of the shaft, well, the pulley will go over the top of that here, right? So we get our pulley pull. Okay. Open that bed a little on up there, got our monster. You gotta be careful with these. You can't go rag old hard with them, right? Some of these pulleys ain't, you know, probably made the way they should be made. We'll just say it like that. Grab it, alright? Yeah, we definitely gonna need some more grab. Let's see here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Alright, let's open it up. set on there properly it will hold itself on there and you just got to get it to come in right does it. That's it. Easy peasy job. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, there's your pulley up off there. So now when we take that other side off, and I just keep that hanging up there in the rafter so I can get to it easy. Do you know what I mean? Like, I like my tools accessible. Uh, walking distance pretty much, uh, you know, having to search everywhere and uh, I don't like chaotic like that. I like to uh, be somewhat, uh, yeah. Hey.
I had to go and uh, file down my, uh, I, I put it on the grinder, I'm sorry, the tip of my client. Uh, people don't know how to respect your tools. So I had to fix it. We got us a uh, clean up client again. like a newer head screw too this is not no old old have mercy man I hate when they do that I really do and especially it's not even that old man like come on bro you gotta be kidding me and I oiled it up yesterday Let's see if we can get this front one here. Right now. This front one looked like it's been in here since I was a child. <laughs> You'll never believe this. Look at this. I know you're playing with you. Literally. Easy. <laughs> that one came right out. It's the one guy here is gonna give me the problem I can see. Look, all the side ones come out. The front one came out. Alright, those problems out. too much editing now and if you're a watcher you're gonna see it <laughs> that's for sure ah. Just as cheap. They don't look like they're shallow like you. 
Uh, or Crescent, I'm sorry. I said Chamois, I meant Crescent. Let's see. Supposed to be goddamn vice grips, man. What the hell is the deal here? Now, this bitch is not. This is our, uh, our belt balancer. I'm, I'm excuse, sorry, blade balancer. Uh, it, it kicks the wheel this way. This is our tensioner, which raises our wheel up and down. So, this here is, uh, Stand to be replaced a little bit here. I'm not sure. Looks that way. I don't think a deal. I mean, pretty basic. It's just a uh, butterfly nut with a with a bolt that you can pinch. I don't even know if they make those anymore. To be honest with you. Them flat bolts. I ain't seen one of those. I haven't seen one of those in a long time, especially in a store, mind you. Maybe brass, but I don't think so. I'm thinking of the T bolt, the T nuts bolts. Well, bolts that you uh, use on like a, um, 
uh, toilet and couldn't get it out. <laughs> so yeah, uh, and then just a bushing, some uh, just a regular bushing, hollow.